After you have the cap all soldered together, you're going to need to install the column. Um, the best way to do this is to take your take your column, put it on your flat working surface, uh, take a hammer, a bigger hammer is better, and just give it a good tap, a couple good taps, um, just to make it a slightly oblong. You don't want to you don't want to flatten it out, just make it slightly oblong. So, and then thread the perfectly round end through, through the bottom, pull it up, and when you get it up to the top, it'll be, it'll be nice and snug, and it's going to stay still for you while, while you're soldering it together. Okay, we're going to go ahead and solder the column to the cap plate here. Again, I'm going to be applying most of the heat to the column here, and um, I'm going to solder from the inside. What you have to be careful of is um, not heating the cap plate too much or getting, getting too much heat up in here and, and dripping solder out of the bottom of, uh, of that previously soldered joint. ready to start putting uh, the column uh, arm together. So what you're going to want to do is take all of your fittings and pre-solder them on the inside or outside depending on where the solder needs to be applied. I've already put some, I'm sorry, pre-flux them. I've already put some flux on the rest of my fitting so I'm going to go ahead and assemble this together. So put one T on one end of your half inch pipe slide the three quarter inch pipe through, stick the other T on the other end, and you have your condensing arm. What you want to do is line it up best you can, just visually, so your parts are straight. Center this and you're ready to solder. Install your arm and a vise. And what you're going to want to do is heat from the bottom. Okay, once you have the two T's soldered um, on to the three quarter and the half inch pipe, you're going to want to put your first elbow. It doesn't matter which end you put the elbow on, just pick an end. And you want the elbow facing away from your, your T. And you want to get them lined up 
Um, so they're they're running parallel with one another. And just stick it in your vise and solder this joint just like the other two. Always make sure you put flux in every joint. Okay, we're going to install uh, the, the one and a half inch to half inch reducer on the end of our column. So secure it in a vise. Uh, make sure you flux, uh, put flux on, on, on both pieces. Slide them together, heat them up and solder. Right after you have the reducer installed on the end of the column, go ahead and slide your uh, half inch elbow in the end. And after you've fluxed it, heat it up. The last thing we need to do is attach the cooling arm to the column. So take some flux and put it on both joints the outside of the cooling arm and the inside of the 90 on the top of the column. Stick the parts together and just line it up by sight and you're ready to solder together. I've got a little drop of solder down here and I don't want it there so I'm just going to heat it up and brush it off.